Hey you guys, it's Christina. One of the biggest concerns that I hear from people when starting to eat more raw foods or even when trying to go fully raw is that they're not sure what to expect when going fully raw. I know it can be a scary thing to not only change your diet, but also your lifestyle. So today, my video is about what to expect when eating fully raw or when going fully raw. I'm gonna outline my top 10 challenges that you're gonna face when eating more raw foods, and I'm gonna give you my top 10 solutions on how you can easily overcome them. Are you ready? Let's make this journey easy, simple, and enjoyable for you. Tip number one, the biggest thing that you have to overcome is your own fear. I'm sure you've heard the phrase that the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. Remember this, everybody goes through their own insecurities and their own different detoxes or their own different challenges when they start eating more raw foods. Whether you are worried about a certain detox that may happen, whether you're worried about eating too much sugar, whether you're worried about losing too much weight, losing, gaining too much weight, whatever it may be, everybody is going to encounter their own challenge. And it's important to remember that this is for you to make yourself a better person. And keep in mind that there are solutions to every single problem that you encounter on this journey. So before you begin, place your fear aside and just do it. I promise it's not as scary as you think. Number two, when you first start eating fully raw, the biggest mistake that people make is that they don't eat enough. So people will either feel too hungry or too full. And the easy solution to feeling too hungry is obviously to eat more fruit since it's a calorie dense food that will give you enough carbohydrates and it will help you to feel satisfied. If you're feeling too full, just remember that these are very high water content foods. They're very nutrient dense. And so it's okay to feel a little bit fuller at first. Your stomach is a muscle just like every other muscle in your body. It will expand and contract and get used to the high water content that it is eating. Number three, people are very frightened of detox reactions. And I promise this is different for everybody. Some people may break out in hives. Some people may get flu-like symptoms. Some people's hair may fall out. Whatever it is that you may face, everybody goes through something different. And I promise that these things do pass. Usually the first three days are the worst for detox reactions. You may feel tired. You may even have too much energy. But whatever it is, stick with it. They say that after 30 days, you've developed a habit. So give it a shot and do the best that you can do and I promise it will be well worth it. But don't be afraid of detox reactions because sometimes they can actually be a good thing to have your body communicate with you and let you know, hey, I'm making progress here. Challenge number four, you may feel alone or secluded. One of the biggest things that holds people back from eating healthier is the social setting. Going out with people, what will you eat? Being around family, what will they think? This is a huge, huge challenge for so many people. And I will tell you that as long as you are strong in yourself and you really want this, you are gonna feel much better because you're doing this for you. Don't make your decisions based upon what other people think or what other family members think that you should be doing for your body. If you feel in your heart that you need to be eating more raw foods or more fruits and vegetables, give yourself a shot, be determined, and give it a try. If you would like to know how I live raw and eat socially, you can just click on this video where I share with you all the different ways that I go out, I deal with family members, I deal with friends, and how I invite people into my home so that I can keep my social life and absolutely love it and still be fully raw. It's easier than you think, there's solutions to everything, so don't be scared. Number five, be prepared to run out of food. Most people have a very big misconception when they go fully raw that five oranges will get them through the day and that they can go to the grocery store and just get what they need for that meal. But when you're eating raw, I promise, stock up on food if you want to save yourself 20 million trips to the grocery store that week. I actually have a video called My Weekly Raw Food Stash where I show you everything that I stock up in my house in a full week. And I promise it's a lot. I only like to do my shopping once a week to save myself time, money, and convenience, and I promise this is a lot easier. Number six, how does one deal with cravings? I hear that question all of the time, and I will tell you, as long as you are satisfied and if you're eating enough fruit, you won't have that many cravings. Cravings last for about 10 minutes really intensely. Make it through those 10 minutes and eat fruit, 
satisfy yourself with some type of carbohydrate, some type of calorie, it will help you get through those cravings. Number seven, people tell me all the time, I don't have time to eat. And I know that people may look at the size of one of my salads and think I'm eating all day. But I will tell you, I spend less time eating raw than I ever have in my entire life. When you compare the amount of time eating raw foods versus cooked foods, you're actually saving yourself prep time, eating time, and energy. For instance, it takes me half the amount of time to make a smoothie and to rinse out my blender than it would be to cook up a whole pot of oatmeal, wait for it to cook, scrub the pot, clean it, and then sit down and eat it. So you're saving yourself time. Not only that, but it's so easy to drink a juice and if you want to spend time eating a salad at night, you can eat your salad and perhaps multitask and do something else at the same time. If you still feel like you don't have enough time to eat your meals, plan them beforehand. Make sure that your house is stocked up, plan each meal, know exactly which fruit you're gonna have at each meal, know the quantities, take out all of the guesswork. That way when it comes time to eat, it's simple, it's straightforward, and your mind is already set up on what you're gonna do. Number eight, People always look at my food stash and they question, how on earth do I afford eating fully raw? You can click on the video here where I share with you all of the different ways where I like to buy my fruits and vegetables, how I buy in bulk, how I buy from local farmers, how I use my local co-op, all to save me money and keep me eating as much as I want, whatever I want, and still stay within my budget. Number nine, people get bored of eating the same thing all the time. But let me tell you something. Did you know that the average American family eats the exact same meal seven times a week? Every Monday night is Chinese. Every Tuesday night is Italian. But I will tell you this. Did you know that if you were to eat one fruit every single day for the rest of your life, you still will not have tried every fruit or vegetable on the planet? That is a huge variety of fruits and vegetables. Have I gotten bored eating fully raw? Absolutely not. There is more variety that I eat in a year than I ever have in my entire life. The last most popular concern that I will address from people, and that's kind of funny, is that people are scared to have bad gas or heartburn or digestive issues when eating all of these cruciferous fruits and veggies. And I will tell you this, if you have a lot of gunk up in your trunk, then yes, you may have some gas or uncomfortable digestive issues when you first start going fully raw. But after your system begins to cleanse, that goes away. Something that you can do to help yourself with better digestion is to practice good food combining skills. I've included a few links below this video of some really awesome food combining charts that you can follow, my fully raw food combining charts that will help you combine different foods so that you feel your best, that you are gasless, and that you can enjoy every bite along the way. Despite all of the 10 concerns that I've just gone over with you, despite whether or not you're afraid to have them, you may encounter them, you may not, I promise it is worth it. When you think about it, everybody knows that eating more fruits and vegetables is better for you. So going fully raw, or just incorporating more of them into your diet is gonna help you feel better. You're gonna lose weight, your skin will glow, your energy will increase, everything about you will shift for the better. So when you look at encountering these 10 challenges and keep living the life that you're living, which one do you want? You have the choice. If you're about to go fully raw, hopefully these things will help you on your journey. And if you're in wanting to know if you should embark on this journey, maybe these things will help eliminate some of that fear for you. If you've already started your journey and you find yourself right in the middle of one of these problems, I hope that these help you as well. No matter where you are, keep your hope, keep your faith. I hope you decide to embark on this journey, whether to increase the amount of fruits and vegetables that you're eating or to go fully raw. I know that these tips and these tricks will help you immensely along the way. If you guys want more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, you can find them all on this YouTube channel at Fully Raw Christina as I try to inspire you and to help you and to have fun with you as we try and go fully raw together. You guys can also check out my website at fullyraw.com or you can even follow me daily and see what I'm eating because every single day I'm posting pictures of what I eat, what I'm doing, how I'm social on my Facebook page, my Instagram, my Twitter, and on my Pinterest, all at Fully Raw Christina. I hope you guys have found these tips to be helpful. I hope you share them with your family and your friends. 
And if there are any other challenges that you face that you want to help other people with, please leave them in the comments below because we're all about building community so that we can be here and be successful and healthy together. All right, you guys, I send you all of my hugs and I hope that you have an awesome day. Bye. I know you want my OJ. Mm-hmm. I know you want my blueberries. Mm-mm. You be thinking I have a lot. But I'm gonna eat them all. They all for me. Want one? <laughs> Take it away, baby. I know you want some of these. I know what you're thinking. Can't possibly eat all these myself. Just watch me. Uh, too many blueberries. Uh...